welcome to the Clean Bright It Starts With Me Janitor Training Module. This film must be watched and fully understood prior to commencing your employment as a janitor with Clean Bright. It is vital that you fully understand and follow the Clean Bright colour code to avoid cross-contamination. In toilets and urinals, only red gloves, red buckets, red mops and red cloths can be used. In food preparation areas, only blue gloves, blue buckets, blue mops and blue cloths can be used. In all other areas, only use yellow gloves, yellow buckets, yellow mops and yellow cloths. This video will now show you step by step how to carry out all of your duties as a janitor. Walk to the customer service desk and ask for the visitor book. Be sure to sign and complete the visitor book with the time of your arrival, departure at the end of the shift and your vehicle registration if you have parked in the Sainsbury's car park. Please sign the clean bright timesheet with the date, time and your full name. Clock in with your PIN number using the telephone at customer services. Your PIN number is displayed on your ID badge along with the telephone number you need to dial to log in and out. Walk to where the colleague cloakrooms are so that you can get changed into your uniform. Be sure that you are wearing the correct uniform and that your ID badge and Sainsbury's name badge is clearly displayed. You will be sent home without pay if you fail to wear your uniform, ID badge and name badge. You are not allowed to wear jeans, trainers, sandals, open toed shoes or high heels. You cannot chew gum whilst working. Collect the store mobile phone from customer services but remember announcements for cleanups will also be made via the tannoy. Make sure your janitor trolley is clean and ready for the start of your shift. All available equipment should be placed on the trolley. This should include colour coded buckets, a new bin bag in place, mop and bucket, dustpan and brush, blue roll, colour coded cloths and multi-purpose spray. This is what the janitor's trolley should look like before and at the end of your shift. It is very important that you understand how to complete the janitor book throughout your shift. First, make sure the janitor book is on the correct day. Sign your name at the top of the page and the hours of your shift. All bins around the entrance area need to be checked and cleaned. Sweep up any rubbish that may be surrounding the entrance area. Remove the lid of the bin, tie the corners of the full rubbish bag together and take out of the bin. There should be bin liners at the bottom of the bin for you to replace the bag. Place the lid back on top. Dispose of the full rubbish bag in the warehouse next to the compactor on a roll pallet and check off the entrance area with your initials on the janitor book. Walk through the produce aisle, pick up or sweep up any items that are lying on the floor. Place a warning sign and mop the floor. Remove any black marks, be sure to use yellow colour coded equipment. Check your initials. Check the refrigeration aisle for any litter or spills. If there happens to be any, then be sure to use the correct colour coded equipment to clean them up. Check for any water leaks, place wet floor caution signs and mop up the leak until the floor is clean and dry. Empty any litter into the bin attached to the janitor trolley. Check your initials. Check around the cafe area for any debris lying around underneath the tables and sweep and mop up any black marks as necessary. Make sure there are no spills that could cause an accident. Ensure wet floor signs are out at all times when mopping up spillages. Check your initials. The customer toilets include the men's, women's, disabled and baby changing facilities. Warning signs must be displayed outside the toilet to indicate cleaning is taking place. The order in which to clean the toilets must be followed. Sweep the floor for any debris and empty the contents in the bin. Dispense the appropriate amount of shield cleaner disinfectant into clean warm water in a red bucket. Using a red cloth, wipe down the sign and the entrance doors to each toilet ensuring free of fingerprints and dirt. Refresh your cloth. Replace empty toilet roll dispensers. Check if soap dispensers are full and if not, fill up with Soft Care Plus Pure. Thoroughly wipe down the sink and its surrounding, such as the mirrors, using a red cloth, making sure it's free from any debris and fingerprints. Refresh your cloth. Wipe clean the hand dryer and make sure that underneath is free from any dirt and debris. Refresh your cloth. Inside the toilet cubicles, wipe down the doors and the walls to ensure free from fingerprints and dirt. 
push down the water in the toilet using a toilet brush to help remove the lime scale. Pour three way toilet cleaner into the toilet bowl and agitate well with the toilet brush. Leave for five minutes. It is very important to refresh your cloth in order to avoid cross contamination. Always remember to work from top to bottom when cleaning toilets and urinals. Wipe the toilet flush and wipe down the toilet cistern. Work your way down the toilet seat and wipe clean the outside of the lid and then inside. Remember to refresh your cloth. Wipe down the outside of the toilet seat and then inside of the toilet seat. Remember to refresh your cloth. Wipe down the inside of the toilet rim and then wipe down the outside of the pedestal. Refresh your cloth. Agitate the toilet bowl and then flush. Wipe down the urinals in the men's toilets, making sure there are no stains. If urinals are waterless, please spray with Sanis spray and wipe down. Mop the entire floor, including inside the cubicles, and be sure to place a wet floor sign clearly and remove once the floor is dry and safe. Ensure that you wash your hands in accordance with the hand washing video. Check your initials. When you receive a call for a spillage, you should treat this as an emergency call and must respond immediately to prevent any accidents from happening. They will tell you the type of spillage, whether it is a dry or a wet spill, and what aisle it will be on. The first thing you need to do with a wet spill is to place the wet floor sign next to the spillage, then pick up the product that caused the spill and place it on the trolley. Rinse out the mop and make sure the spillage is cleared up properly. Rinse the spillage from the mop and place it back in the bucket. Using the blue roll, wipe over the area of the floor you have just mopped to make sure that it is dry and safe. Make sure that you remove the wet floor sign when you're finished. Please comment if the floor was left dry and if a Sainsbury's colleague was in attendance of the spillage. When it comes to an oily or greasy spillage, be sure to place the caution sign next to the spillage and then place the product that caused the spill onto the trolley. A Sainsbury's dry spill kit is to be used for this type of spill. If there is no Sainsbury's spill kit available, use cat litter. Authorization is required from the trading manager and make sure you waste the cat litter before use. Open up the packaging and pour a generous amount over the spill, making sure the spillage is fully absorbed. Get a dustpan and brush from the trolley and sweep up the spill kit that has absorbed the oil. Sweep into the pan and then empty the contents into the bin. Rinse out the mop so that you can mop the floor over the area you have just swept to ensure the floor has been fully cleaned. Wipe over the floor with blue roll to ensure the floor is fully dry and safe and remove the wet floor sign. Please comment if the floor was left dry and if a Sainsbury's colleague was in attendance of the spillage. Once you have responded to a spillage and it has been dealt with, you must resume your usual janitorial duties. Wash your hands as and when necessary. During your shift, if a customer asks for directions or help, always assist them. If you are unable to answer any queries, direct them to customer services or another colleague. The equipment trolley needs to be taken back to the warehouse, ensure that it is clean and tidy and ready for the next shift. Any products that have been collected during your shift needs to be emptied out if necessary and then placed into the wasted box. The last janitor shift of the day must, at the end of their shift, show the store manager, deputy store manager or the duty manager the janitor book to check and sign off. Make sure you sign out on the clean bright timesheet Clock out using your PIN number and finally sign out of the visitor's book before leaving the store.